If there's one thing that happens this time of year, it's an uptick in general aviation activity. Flying season, well folks, it's officially underway. And we wanted to see what owner pilots needed to do to help get the airplane back in shape after the long winter. AOPA staff ANP and IA Carlos Celia says you need to look for things like flat or worn tires. And if the tire's been flat, well, it's time to replace it. He says the avgas you've had in the tanks, it's probably good for up to a year, but if you run on MoGas, it's a good idea to drain it after a few months of sitting. And the biggest bugger, well, that's engine co corrosion. An engine does like to be run. On your first run after the winter, you probably want to do an oil change right after either a ground run or the first flight. And, and religiously check your filter, your screens, your inlet screens for debris. The owner of this Archer is an AOPA employee who flies to work some days. Take a look at what he found deep in his cowling this week. You don't want to see a bird's nest in your bird. Carlos says there's a simple remedy to all this. Prevention, fly your airplane often, even during the winter. So the bird's nest thing, that, that's a really big deal. They can build a nest in the spring like this just in a heartbeat in a matter of uh, an hour or two. So you gotta really watch out for that. Put those cow plugs in them, uh, every place you stop. Yeah, even if you've flown the day before this time Absolutely. of year, check you gotta it out. Look carefully. And hey, you don't just want your airplane to run well, you also want it to look great as you show up on the ramp this summer. I had a chance to learn how to get my airplane clean and shiny again. Nearly 30 years after its last paint job, the finish on my 1972 Bonanza had lost some of its luster, mostly from when it had to sit outside for a couple of years. With an engine overhaul nearby, my airplane checkbook is not ready for a paint job yet, so that left me asking what I could do to bring back some shine. And that is where Bonanza expert Adrian Eichhorn came in. Adrian has a technique he regularly uses to bring the shine back to older airplanes. To start, you'll need an orbital buffer with a wool pad and some 3M Perfect Finish compound. I set the material on the surface and then I'll generally turn it up on about a 30 to a 45 degree angle. So you're using only really a portion of the pad. And again, you got to think of the direction that it's turning and keep that away from edges and sharp areas so it doesn't grip and get ripped out of your hands. So, um, in this case, we're running at about 1800 RPMs, and I'll just start gently by turning it on and going back and forth in one direction, and then 90 degrees to that in the other. Because the pad is turning, um, that'll help remove some of the scratches and the, the swirls that come in it. So just start gently. Work it back and forth. So I'll take a quick break and I'll look at my surface and what is really helpful when you're doing this is to have some ambient light that can reflect and show much how much oxidation was removed on the first pass and this actually did a pretty good cut and now when you hear my hand going across here there's hardly any friction sound whatsoever versus. Once the cutting process removed the oxidation we went back over the airplane with a polishing compound and a foam pad. The process is topped off with some wax to bring back some more shine and to protect the paint. It takes a lot of elbow grease, but all that hard work will leave your airplane looking shinier than it has in years. One extra tip, protect the hangar with some drop claws as the orbital buffer can send the compound all over the place, not to mention the dust from the oxidation. And by the way, you can buy the 3M products at most any shop that sells car restoration products. So you had Adrian working pretty hard on that airplane. <laughs> he made it shine. I did. It looks so much better. So thanks, Adrian, for all the help because uh, it really made a difference. I was amazed. I was ready to thinking I was going to have to invest in paint. I can put that off for a few more years now because it looks really nice. 